What's going on, you beautiful, beautiful nerds? Brandon here from NerdLocker.com, and we got some stuff to talk about this week. This first one isn't anything super crazy, but it's something I specifically just wanted to bring up. Uh, Alex Hirsch is going to be a story contributor for the Spider-Man animated movie, which will star Miles Morales instead of Peter Parker, that will be coming out. For those of you that do not know who Alex Hirsch is, he is the creator of Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is one of the best cartoons I've ever seen. I'm really glad to see him on this. I'm just wondering what he's gonna bring to the story. I, I don't know much about villains or anything going on. I mean, technically, Miles really doesn't have his own rogue gallery yet, but I one, I think it's a great decision that he is the Spider-Man they'll be using in this, and two, I think this is gonna be a great fit for the movie. I can't wait for this. Next up, uh, kind of something odd, but Jared Leto is in talks to star in the Tron reboot. Now that is a reboot, not a continuation, which I think is a mistake. The second Tron movie didn't do as well as you know they wanted it to, uh, but I really felt there was a lot of potential in that franchise. Uh, the second movie was a much needed upgrade to the first movie, and I, although I'm excited to see more Tron, kind of bummed we're uh, starting over already. I feel like there's there's enough established in that world that you could do a different offset story. But hey man, either way, uh, we could be getting more Tron. I'm not going to argue with that. And uh, I just, I hope it's good. Now something I've complained about a lot with the X-Men movies is that they make up mutants. You have, you, you literally have hundreds to choose from. There's no reason to make anything up. It looks like there are a few who've been cast in the box X-Men show that's coming up. Uh, Polaris is the name that I saw thrown around. There are a few others, and Stupid Brandon forgot to write them down before he filmed this. Oh, Blink, Blink, Blink was another one. I like that we're moving in a direction that they're not just gonna have Nameless Mutant number four. Like, even in Legion, which I'm enjoying a lot, there's still a number of mutants that aren't, you know, actual mutants. You have so many to choose from. Get out there. Grab them. Not all of them have to be, you know, team title characters, but still, why, why make something up when you have a bunch you could use? But the fact that they were picking actual mutants gives me a little more hope for this television show. Uh, I know it'll probably tie into the mess of a franchise that is the X-Men, you know, movie universe. I'm hoping that gets ironed out soon, a la Deadpool, but, you know, I think this is a step in the right direction. Last up this week, we have a couple of cameos. If you don't want any spoilers for Guardians of the Galaxy 2, please just skip to the end of the video because that's what I'm gonna be talking about here for the next minute or so. But it looks like Sylvester Stallone and Michael Rosenbaum are both appearing in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. James Gunn has come out and said that uh, Sylvester Stallone will be playing a very important character. I don't know if that necessarily means somebody super established in the Marvel Universe. Um, but there were rumors that he was on set in Ravenger gear, so I don't know. I mean, is that someone else we're going to add to the world? Is it just a cameo with a notable name? And honestly, uh, Michael Rosenbaum, he's great. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he was Lex Luthor in Smallville. That wasn't the best show, but he was a damn good Lex Luthor. But this is cool. Um, I'd like to see him. Definitely down with this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week. I was going to talk about the Inhumans cast, but that thing is huge. The thing I do like about that is that it's all real Inhumans. I hope this show doesn't suck. I still think it's not the best idea to go from what was supposed to be a movie franchise to, you know, a television show. But we'll see. You know, Marvel really hasn't done much wrong. On that topic, I just finished Iron Fist. I don't think it was the best Netflix show, but I definitely don't think it sucked. I mean, started a little slow, but I mean, I, I, I liked it. Guys, come at me. Fight me in the comments. Like I said, that's gonna do it for this week. I will see you here next week. And until then, please, you, 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 all of you, have a nerdy week.